Big Boy's just nervous, but don't worry. Everyone in Shires' caress is a Every substance has been tried and tested by yours truly. Potion? What good is that? Dandelion's is up those stairs. And his home blooms beside the door. So the helpers are waiting too. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for ya. Welcome to Danthilon's dancing acts. Our stock isn't used, it's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my hum... Oh, you can turn off the charm, Antharl. He's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. I missed you, too. They're already... Down below. Here's the key. Ha! Clearly you do not know our harper most. I would... The others will... Antharl has been known to charge rent. Harpers have been known to ignore. Now, go on. The short father may send me an actual paying custom. To buy? Oh, you're already my favorite.
A pleasure. Right, Sobby. You're on the door till our friends are done. Gone. Did we do any business today? Awaiting orders. You told me the armor was evolving. It was! Always nice to be wanted. You're not wearing armor to meet my mother. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, Hi, Harper. Standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of... I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our... Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. The problem with Marcus, of course... We didn't end on the best of terms. Catch 
catch my breath. Doppelgangers. How many has she brought to Bal's side, I wonder? Mahler's mark. How many more Harper's dead? By my oath. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Selunas tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code, Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. Like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead. Evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. The Baalists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rajimar. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. ...while smiling at me out of her face. She said... ...it said... ...that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And... ...I had no choice! I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl... Any citizen who might have... There is always a choice. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still... You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper... ...when you could still live as anything else? I want to fight! For Chelvin! For all of them. Death is death! To look for meaning in it is foolishness, boy. <laughs> exactly the kind the Harper would spout, I suppose. Not when this mess is of my making. I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult, without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus, you're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. 
I have matters to discuss with my friend here. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. A shame of mine. Redoubled because I did not tell you everything sooner. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rat? Despite her expectant gaze, the name means nothing to you. Street whalers spin stories from the time of troubles, and they save the strangest ones for Minsk. It happens that in his case, most of them are true. Minsk is an old friend, perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting, and the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us. Or leave him. And live to fight another day. And would again. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes... You get to take it back. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead, if I seem suddenly flush with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. You are bold to seek me out after sharing your affections with another. So, I gather your affections have drifted elsewhere. Curious. <laughs> I have heard much of the cunning and caution of the Harpers. Clearly those tales were exaggerated. Their entire network in the city has been infiltrated and undone by a handful of imposters. Little wonder the surface world is in such disarray if they are among its protectors. Nervous? Don't be preposterous. I am on alert, as you should be too, given who hunts us. I have faced Orin before, and she left scars on me that will never heal. She will enjoy adding to them, and she can strike whenever she pleases. She could be anywhere. Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Minthara is afraid. You see through my Minthara mask, pretty little flesh thing. A joke. I am no more Orin than you are. If she is watching, and she may well be, she will delight in seeing suspicion spread among us so quickly. We cannot let that happen. We need to watch over each other, now more than ever. A true soul came to my city, preaching a message of togetherness, accompanied by two novices. Menzo Baranson is not fertile ground for such messages. I killed them and hanged their bodies in my garden.
I would have picked prettier corpses if my intentions had been aesthetic. This was a warning against heresy. I was not content with the warning, though. I intended to wage war on their insolent god and the rest of its followers. Even as the flesh sagged and sloughed away from their eyeless skulls, their audacity infuriated me. I had to know where they came from. <sighs> and whoever sent them was counting on my curiosity overcoming my caution. Yes. All it took was a simple act of necromancy, and the corpses told me where I needed to strike. Moonrise Towers. No. I was prepared for combat, but I intended to strike subtly, as it turned out to my shame. I was defeated without even drawing my weapon. I came to Moonrise with a retinue of warriors and assassins. The best house Bane Ray had to offer. I expected a battle, but found a fully laden feast table and a welcome befitting a house matron. <sighs> Ketherick expected us, expected me, and I fell for his flattery. Perhaps I deserved what came after the welcome as well. Ketherick proposed an alliance between Moonrise and Menza Baranzen. I admit I was captivated. He invited me to the head of his table as his guest of honor. I was wary, of course. If I had been in his position, the food would have been poison. It was not the food I should have been wary of. It was the pale woman at the foot of the table. Orin the Red. We had barely begun to eat when she spoke for the first time. I only caught one word, my name. Then, quick as lightning, she climbed onto the table, a dagger in each hand, and skipped toward me, slicing the throats out of my men as she passed them. If it had been an option, I would have. Ketherick held me still, his hand on my shoulder, the grip tight enough to crack the bone. When Orin stood before me, she touched the dagger to my eye, drawing out a tear of blood. I want this one, she said. Ketherick nodded his permission, and I was taken below. You've seen the horrors of the colony. Orin kept me there for days. She forced me to watch, as my men were processed. Some for food, others as thralls. And then she placed the tadpole in my eye, herself. <sighs> that is certain. You know the rest as well as I do. There were massacres before the Grove. Religious communities, mostly. Those who refused to convert. Then there was you, and now there is freedom. <laughs> Soon there will be vengeance. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. What? By the Morden Summons Curlies went on down there. Of course! 
Of course they bloody did. Oh, clear out, then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. Plenty. But I'll bend you here as point your ears when all the fist is done. She'll owe me a whole cask of drinks by then. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. you for when he's got those bloody great steel watchers but unprecedented times and all that head through you on the last door on your right lower the gates special permission <laughs> triumph after triumph, you have excelled in base villainy. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Your father loves you. So proud, slaughter your line. Become the last of your own. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Memories flood back, snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is greater than you could have dreamed. You are a spawn of Baal. His heir. His scion. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin, dear sister, must die by your hand, an offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today is a wonderful day for murder. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry. But your trespass shall not be punished. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. 
Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Careful. Keep seeking me out like this and people may think we're rekindling things. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. You wish to consult me? Tell me, Osno. Or show me. My mind is open to you. Exposed to the limitless horror of your dreadful imagination, Minthara's mind buckles, snaps, and then burns hot. She absorbs every detail, whether memory or dream, and drinks deep of them. You sense a desire in her equal in strength to your darkest urge. Elgor, Duktak, Slayer. There are many names for you, my love, and all of them inspire dread. You are exquisite. You cannot deny your own blood. Yours is a heritage of murder. It cannot be ignored or evaded. You will either kill. We must find the Temple of Baal, slaughter Orin and claim your inheritance. Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. I expect it will live up to its legend. Expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Hells, not this again. The brain appears to be resisting its masters. It's acting of its own will. Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel only. What? Oh, uh... You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into... You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others! is going on rain ash you've got one breath to explain why you're in here or you're going straight to the cells <laughs> that's impossible rain ash was on duty the whole that sneaky little gate it was him all along Ever since they ordered us to close the gates, 
He must have a nice little nest egg by now. If he shows his face again, he's got a bed waiting in the cell. Appreciate the help you've given. But we need to get our shut eye before we're back on duty. Civilian areas back the way you came. Certainly waiting. moment. for combat. At your command. Time has not hardened my hands just yet. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. work to do.
No one's stopped me yet. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Calm down, dear. This is the armory. Not a bloody trade. This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Mindless metal, Ragresham in my steel watches. Stupid thing'll probably decapitate me for cleaning the bloody mace rack. Finally, someone who sees said strong folk wielding strong blades. That's what keeps folk safe. I don't have anything fancy, but you're welcome to take a look. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. We'll tell them what happened, and we'll be home in no time. Seems things keep getting broken around here. You're about to get the blame. You've been given the benefit of the doubt that... A prison guard has spotted you. It's either lie or fight. Somehow the guard buys your excuse. You're free to roam worms.
It's over. He's too far gone. What's up for discussion? What do you want? You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now stop. You're too late. It's over. Vlorik? Oh, what have they done to you? I don't speak of myself, High Harper. I speak of the city itself. It came too late. It's over. I didn't give up. I lost. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. A tadpole's pup. He spoke in accusations. A pop. I'll be executed in... F <laughs> the fists can go hang themselves. We're getting you out. I'll give you credit. I'm drowning in tears, and you hold out a fist. Alder would have done the same. When the people need a miracle, he said, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, You'll want their blades. Hurry. Just keep your hands to yourself. You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. One day I'll catch a break. Need to act fast. Ready for battle. Your command. Imperial. I can still move fast when I need to.
should I do? <laughs> On my way. My victims await. On your command. A bold maneuver. Mind if I do? No time to waste. Can't give up now. Stopped me yet.
feel my mistress's wrath. Not but another harvest. Well, so much for peace. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. Don't be so quick with your gratitude, Counselor. All we have done is send you back into the battle. And reminded me why I fight in the first place. Truly, thank you. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. <laughs> 